Well, welcome back. We are doing lesson four today, subtracting real numbers or subtracting negative numbers. This lesson is included with the Algebra 1 or Beginning Algebra lessons. You can see some of our other videos, including this series of lessons in our Algebra 1 or Beginning Algebra series underneath our video series. We'll do first example number one. Say we have two minus five. Since five is a bigger negative value, we'll end up with a negative value. And two being a small positive value, we'll still end up with a negative value. So we can start off drawing our number line, start with either one, two or negative five, and go in the direction that you're adding or subtracting. In this case, we'll start off with two, and we'll go five down towards the negative values. One, two, three, four, five. You end up with negative three. Now, we can do the same thing if we start off from, we start off at negative five, and we go up two. One, two, you still end up at negative three. Our answer would be negative three. Example number two, three minus six. Think about this, which one is bigger? The negative six is. So, we'll end up with a negative number. We can start at negative six on the number line, and go, and go up three. One, two, three. Your answer would be negative three. You can do the same thing if you start at positive three. And go down six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You both get negative three. That is your answer between those two. Example number three. Say we have two fifths minus seven fifths. Well, you your denominators are the same. Now you just subtract, you just subtract the numerators, the top numbers. So we have negative seven, which is bigger than positive two. So just do the negative seven and two. Do the regular subtraction, and your answer will be negative. You end up with negative seven plus two. Do the subtraction, seven minus two is five. Your answer will be negative, so you have a negative five. So the top portion will be negative five over five, which would be five over five. Five divided by five, which would be one. And the answer should be negative one. Sorry, that is a mistake. I didn't write it out correctly. Answer will be negative one. Example four. Say we have one half minus three fourths. Now, in order to do this, we need to get the denominators to be the same. In order to do this, we need to multiply the one half by two. Two on top and two on bottom. So that would make the, the bottom number four. So we can do the subtraction. So go ahead. Two times one is two. Two times four or two times two is four. So we get two fourths minus three fourths. Just add the tops together since three is bigger and it's negative, your answer will be negative. So just do three minus two, as you normally do, and then make it negative at the end. Three minus two is one, but the answer will be negative, so negative one. Now put it underneath the fraction of one fourth, because you're just doing the regular subtraction. So the answer will be negative one fourth. The denominators will change in the adding and subtracting. So example number five, say we have uh, a temperature chart. Going up all the way up to 100 degrees Celsius, going down below 0 to negative 100 degrees Celsius. Say we start at 50 degrees, and we go down 30. 30 minus, or 50 minus 30. What would that equal? Well, just do your regular subtraction, and you get 20. Now, say we have 20 degrees, and we go down 30 again. That's 20 minus 30. 30 is now a bigger number, and it's negative. So just do 30 minus 20, do the regular subtraction, and your, your answer will be negative, because negative 30 is bigger than 20, positive. So you get 10, now your answer will be negative, so negative 10. So we have negative 10 Celsius. Let's go down again another 30. So we have negative 10 minus 30. Since these are both negative, you will just simply just add the numbers together, and your answer will be negative. So 10 plus 30 is 40. Now your negative value will be added, so you have negative 40, because both values are negative. So you're getting more negative, so your answer will be negative 40. Now let's go down even more, negative 40 minus 30. Again, both values are negative, so you simply just add them, and your answer will be negative. So 40 plus 30 is 70, but your answer will be negative, so you have negative 70. Say we have negative 70 and we want to go back up 50 degrees, so we have negative 70 plus 50. Since negative 70 is a greater value than 50 and it's negative, the answer will be negative. So just do the regular subtraction, 70 minus 50, 20, and since 70 is the bigger value and it's negative, the answer will be negative. Say we want to go up again from negative 20 to another 50 degrees, so we have negative 20 plus 50. Since 50 is the greater value, and it is 
positive, your answer will be positive, so just do the regular subtraction as normal. 50 minus 20 is 30, so we're at 30 degrees now. Say we're going up another 50, so 30 plus 50, regular addition, so 50 plus 30, you go up to 80 degrees. And that will wrap it up for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please rate and subscribe, and if you have any other questions, please add a comment down below.